right now. 11 minutes of non-stop local news, weather, and SWX sports headlines. This is KHQ Local News, 11 at 11. It's going to be a tough road ahead. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to go away overnight. It's going to be hard for the students and the staff to be back here on Monday. Our thoughts for everybody that was involved in the situation. You know, football's a minor part to this whole thing, but, but it's, it's normalcy to us. It's been chaotic, and then kind of take your mind off it. That was, that was nice. They realize where they're at, they understand it. Um, and they want to get back to normal, and to normal to them is that football field. That's home. This is our home, and we want to be back in our home. Tonight, a special edition of KHQ Local News 11 at 11, Freeman Strong, live from Freeman High School. Good evening, I'm Claire Graham alongside Patrick Erickson tonight. It's an emotional night as our community tries to start the healing process, supporting each other and looking to find some sense of normalcy. That's why KHQ's Freeman High School grad is leaving our co uh, leading our coverage tonight live from Freeman High School. Patrick. Claire, good evening. It was a night that the community of Freeman here will never ever forget. It was a night that they tell me they wanted and a night they needed. It was a cool September evening here at Freeman High School. For a few hours, it was all about football, but the night was about much more than just a game. When you are here, you are part of the Freeman family. Kent Smith Field was packed with fans and alumni, some who haven't been here for years, but felt they needed to, to be here for each other. Family and friends cheered for their Scotties. They cried. They hugged each other a little harder and held each other a little closer. Earlier this week, the Freeman community was shaken, their sense of security taken, along with the life of a young man, a hero named Sam. Tonight, the Freeman family remembered Sam playing in his honor. In the end, the Scotties may have won, but the score didn't matter. What mattered was the love and support that filled the hearts in the stands showing what it truly means to be Freeman strong. And everybody in the stadium tonight here understanding what that means, all wearing these shirts, just showing how important it is to be there for each other and be here tonight together. And there was a lot of attention tonight about this game, but there was other good news that we found out earlier today in regards to the three victims recovering from the shooting earlier this week. Tonight, one of the girls is out of the hospital. She was discharged late last night. Meanwhile, the other two remain in the hospital in satisfactory condition. I'd like to bring in Joe McHale now, and you've spent much of the last week at the hospital covering these girls as they continue to recover from the shooting here earlier this week. Yeah, and at first you see the ambulances roll into the hospital and you just don't know what to expect. And uh, as the hours passed, we learned that they were doing well, which of course was good news. And yesterday, one of them uh, did get released and the other two, from what I understand, are improving uh, by the hour, Great uh, news. which is wonderful. Uh, and you know, the families uh, of those victims, if you weren't, uh, if you were watching this right now, of course, we want to let you know uh, that there are a lot of people out here tonight at this football game mm -hmm. and they are thinking of you and of course, wishing the best for you. And that's what tonight was about is about so much more than just football. Who said football doesn't matter? It's just a game, right? But for the hundreds who filed into Kent Smith Field and Freeman Friday night, this game was everything. Pretty important to be here because you're helping to support the community. 57 hours after parents, gripped by fear, picked up their kids from this football field, they've returned to find each other, unified by horror, healing through community. It's a small community. Uh, there's like only a few hundred people in the high school alone. Players linked hands. The league opponent wore Freeman Strong on their helmets, and the 12th man took on a whole new meaning. Sam Strahan is being remembered as a hero. We're celebrating my one of my closest friends' lives after he lost it in a school shooting on Wednesday, Mark, on Wednesday morning. In the 
end, Freeman would win, but the score wouldn't matter, nor the touchdowns, the tackles. What mattered is that people showed up. What mattered is that the team took the field in the aftermath of the greatest tragedy the school has ever endured. Perhaps a sign that through the toughest of times, this community will be okay. Patrick, you know, there was such a long line of people outside of these gates waiting to get into the game. Uh, the superintendent said this would likely be the most attended home football game that they've had here, and it wasn't because of the game. It was because of what they were what they were doing here. What they were it, being here. Being here. And I think that was the most important thing. The football did take a back seat. It wasn't important to Bart tonight, mm -hmm. but it did take a back seat to everything else going on here. But being here for each other, I think, was a big reason why everybody was here. Yeah, you know, and you just saw the community really come together other rally for each other rally for the victims for sam uh the other uh um Medical Lake uh, wore, wore these stickers on their helmets that say uh, Freeman Strong on them. Really, really cool to show that support. That's what sports are all about. And it was incredible to see. We're going to toss it into Sam Adams now. And, Sam, it's a night nobody is yeah. going to forget for a lot of different reasons. Yeah, guys, like you said, win or lose, this was what they needed. A Friday evening watching football at the place where so many memories had been made through the years. And what a moving moment in the Ultimate show of unity before the game. Players from both teams, Freeman and Medical Lake, locking hands across the field. An unbelievable sight. From the opening whistle, it was clear the Scotties were able to channel that raw emotion into their best performance yet this season. With so much going on. This team was so focused and just letting loose. They marched down the field on their opening drive to score a touchdown. They were up 28 to nothing at halftime. Scotty's came away with a 49 to nothing win. It's their most one-sided victory in a year now. Uh, but again, tonight, not about the scoreboard, about going out on Friday, getting to cheer, getting to smile again, getting to breathe again. Tonight, just a first step, Patrick, but it felt like a big one, didn't it? It felt like a major step forward and a step that the entire community out here needed. Sammy, thank you. The Freeman School District says they are planning on resuming classes coming up Monday and their morning schedule, they say, will be flexible. Superintendent Randy Russell says they want to allow extra time for the students and their families to offer any support they can from counselors that will be in every single classroom. I mean, we just really appreciate all the help and the support, and um, everybody is just here to help us. And I, I can't thank enough. And on behalf of the entire school district, I'd just like to thank everybody that's out there and tell you thank you so much for all of your help and support, your love and your prayers. Uh, as difficult as it has been, I will tell you that the one thing that is getting us through it is coming together and knowing all that support is there. Now, the Russell says that they will be running shortened periods on Monday to make sure students get the help that will be available to them. He also says that they will be there for as long as they are needed. And again, tonight, a big win on the football field. More importantly, a large win off of the football field as the entire Freeman community now moving forward. The healing process has begun an absolutely inspiring night here in Freeman from this community as they did it together.